10 illegal dog breeds from across the globe. Number 10. American Staffordshire Terrier Let's start this list off with the hound I would deem the least likely to chew me to pieces out of all of the illegal dog breeds. According to many dog-related sources, in those areas where it's legal to own them, the American Stafford Terriers, if well-bred and trained, can actually prove to be smart, good-natured, trustworthy companions. However, many countries and areas are not really convinced of that, so they have resorted to outright declaring them illegal to be owned in Germany, Denmark, Spain, Romania, and certain parts of the US, to name a few. These dogs are muscular, bull-like terriers standing 17 to 19 inches. They are characterized by broad heads, well-defined jaws, pronounced cheekbones, and dark round eyes that are set wide apart on their face. They're agile in their movements, and their springy gait signals their innate confidence. They are known to enjoy physical and mental challenges and be keenly aware of their surroundings. Many suggest that these beasts are actually highly trainable, on the other hand, there are many experts and even dog lovers who admit that they aren't your cute, cuddly pet material dogs. The American Staffordshire Terrier is often listed as one of the most dangerous breeds of dogs around because they are prone to react impulsively and aggressively and often won't hesitate to bite. Number nine, American Mastiff. Although they look cute and droopy, don't let the looks fool you. This dog breed is illegal in France, the UK, and various parts of the US, and probably for a good reason. There is one city in Washington state, Wapato, that specifically bans all Mastiff types, including the American Mastiff. This particular breed is often considered potentially dangerous because it's large, massive, and powerful. It possesses a wide, heavy, and rectangular head, eyes that are amber in color, and ears that are rounded and set high on the head. The neck and back are powerful, muscular, and slightly arched, which gives the impression that its body is tense and that it's ready to attack at any moment. Pet experts agree that this kind of dog has a particular temperament. It can be trained to be extremely social and lovable and isn't generally considered that dangerous, although there are other opinions, which resulted in banning them entirely in the aforementioned countries and regions of the US. There is a wide consensus that their temperament is such that they can be extremely protective and very sensitive to signs of potential danger to its owner, which could trigger their angry and hostile behavior. Are they safe to own or not? I'll let you decide. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number 8. Pero de Presca Merroquín if you try to look up opinions about whether particular dog breeds are dangerous or not, you're bound to come across extremely polarized opinions. That's exactly the case with the Perro de Presca Marroquín. These doggies possess a powerful frame with a strong build and deep, wide chest. Their most prominent feature is their head, which is impressively powerful in appearance, especially in the males where the circumference of the head usually exceeds the height of the dog. They are extremely hierarchical and prone to domination, so their owners, where these animals are legal to be owned as pets, should probably be thinking about how to out-dominate their pet. These dogs are extremely intelligent, cunning, and powerful. They are not easily manageable and sadly were bred to be fighting dogs. They can stand up to challenges, and if they're not trained to be obedient, they can quickly turn dangerous and vicious. Say what you want about chihuahuas, but at least with them, you don't have to worry whether they will try to out-dominate you or not. Number seven, Dogo Argentino. With this dog, I'm not sure whether I should be admiring its beauty or fearing its formidable presence. Dogo Argentino is a pack hunting breed usually bred to hunt animals such as boar and pumas. It's often said that it possesses strength, intelligence, and responsiveness of an athlete. This athletic appearance is also the reason why people are having concerns about this beast. It's completely white, short, plain, and smooth coat can't hide its dangerous qualities. Just imagine a dog of this strength and size standing right in front of you and staring at you. Uh, you might be paralyzed in fear. Dogo Argentino is a dog breed known to be used in dog fighting competitions, where people spend large amounts of money on betting. This practice is illegal, and since many countries were concerned that such a beast in dog-to-dog -dog fights could be potentially bloodthirsty towards humans, they made them completely illegal to own. 
They are banned in the UK, where they can be taken away by the police. They're also illegal to own in New Zealand, Norway, Singapore, Iceland, Israel, and the Ukraine, as well as Aurora, Colorado, and New York City. In Australia, it is even illegal to import the Dogo Argentina. I love my puppies, but I think I would just watch this one from afar and admire its beauty. Number six, Fila Brasileiro. This pup called Fila Brasileiro, also known as Brazilian Mastiff, has been bred in Brazil for centuries for the purpose of working and hunting. When used as an aid in hunting, Fila tends not to attack its prey, but rather to capture it and wait for the hunters to arrive. These dogs are large, and just their size is intimidating, let alone their temperament. They are usually described as loyal to their owners, but very hostile towards strangers, which is where the saying, faithful as a fila, originated. On the other side, many have recognized this dog's superb tracking ability, aggressiveness, and unforgiving, impetuous temperament, which has led to the proposals to make them illegal in many countries. The UK is one such country where banning a fila is banned. The Brazilian Mastiff is so deeply and instinctively protective toward its in-group that it can be extremely vicious and antisocial even predatory to perceived outsiders. This protection, of course, extends to its owners, who could be having a blast having this kind of amazingly protective animal. For other people who are strangers to the dog, not so much. It's understood that even guests and visitors of the dog's owners are potentially at risk of being attacked. Number five, Czechoslovakian wolf dog. Of course, a wolf dog was always going to be included in this list. This particular kind, Czechoslovakian wolf dog, is a primitive dog breed that was developed in the 1950s using German shepherd dogs and Carpathian wolves. It resembles a wolf in its body shape, movement, coat texture, coat color, and facial markings. Many of these wolfies are very quiet, even though they can bark. They're said to be beautiful, loyal, and hardworking, but also dominant, high energy, and independent. This breed has been made illegal to be owned due to the fact that it is also very unpredictable and potentially dangerous. Their sharp instinct for hunting prey makes them less than ideal pet material. This particular wolf dog is rare in the United States, but they were still responsible for approximately 14 deaths from 1979 to 1998. This is estimation, of course, and the exact figure is believed to be much higher. It should also be noted that wolf dog mixes in general are considered the ninth most dangerous breed of dogs in the States. Number four, Doberman Pinscher. Doberman Pinscher, or just Doberman, often get bad press. This dog breed is certainly a sight to behold. Even if it always looks as if it's about to bite someone's throat off, this beast has an impressive stature and compact build. It's muscular, fast, and powerful, and stands at 24 to 28 inches at the shoulder. They move in easy, athletic ways and have earned their status as canine royalty. If trained and conditioned in the right way, they are usually excellent additions to the police force or security. However, the aforementioned bad press comes into the picture when they haven't been properly conditioned and trained, which is the reason they've been banned in many parts of the U.S. as pets. Doberman pinchers were once a more integral part of the police force, which is why they have so often been associated with violence and aggression, especially towards strangers. And yes, they can be very dangerous and aggressive. According to a CDC study, this breed was involved in nine dog bite related fatalities from 1979 to 1988, ranking it sixth on the CDC's list. In other words, if you happen to encounter a Doberman pincher in an empty, dark street, nobody would blame you if you went the other way. Number three, American Pitbull Terrier. France, Norway, Switzerland, various parts of the US, these are just some countries in which owning an American Pitbull Terrier is illegal, and as well as many countries in which restrictions and conditions on ownership have been written into legislation. Why is it that so many countries have a problem with this admittedly cute, but also intimidating beast? It's a simple question with no simple answers. These restrictions, requirements, and conditions are dependent on the specific country's ratio of American pit bull terriers' bites and other attacks on humans. Let's start at the beginning. The American pit bull terrier is a medium-sized, intelligent, short-haired, solidly built dog breed whose males are usually around 17 to 20 inches in height and 35 to 60 pounds in weight. 
while females are normally 17 to 20 inches in height and 30 to 50 pounds in weight. The dog is also often described as strong, confident, and full of zest for life. So where does the problem with pit bulls come in? It usually all comes down to the way the dog is being trained and bred. American pit bull terriers can indeed be very dangerous when they're bred and raised in preparation for dog fights, guarding layers of gangsters, drug dealers, and similar purposes. Because in that case, they adopt the behavioral characteristics which can lead them to be banned in many countries as pets of choice. However, fully domesticated and well-trained ones are more likely to display completely different characteristics. Those are the pit bull terriers, which have been bred through obedience and agility trials and weight pulling. And that kind of treatment leads to dogs that display athleticism, intelligence, and a keen working mind. So yes, American pit bull dogs can be extremely dangerous, but they can also be really sweet, enthusiastic, and protective. More attention to the way they are bred and trained will lead to the latter of the two mentioned previously. Number two, Neapolitan Mastiff. Certainly the most interesting looking dog breed, your first instinct upon seeing it can trigger feelings of protectiveness towards this dog. But trust me, it definitely doesn't need protection. In fact, in some cases, you might be the one in need of protection from this dog breed. This astounding guard has been intimidating intruders from the days of ancient Rome. Although it is sweet and steady with loved ones, it's extremely suspicious around strangers, where it can become very aggressive and territorial. It is illegal to own one in Singapore and in some other parts of the world. A person must first pass a psychological evaluation in order to obtain a license to own it as a pet. Male Neapolitan Mastiffs are especially territorial and prone to aggression when another dog of the same sex is present, as well as when other pets are around. Humans aren't always safe either. The dog won't hesitate to use its strength and teeth to neutralize anything it perceives as a threat. It's recommended that this dog starts getting socialized by its owner since its infancy to prevent its wild instincts to manifest. This way, the owner would be able to prevent that others or the owner themselves won't get hurt, probably. Number one, Tosa Inu. Tosa Inu regularly finds itself atop of many lists, including this one, of some of the most illegal dog breeds in the world. It's known as a fighting dog from Japan, over which ownership is illegal in many countries across the world. They are known for having fought along samurai and almost went extinct. Tosa is huge, strong, muscular, and honestly, a little too intimidating. They usually get to the height of 24 inches for both males and females. It's mostly a silent breed in the grand tradition of Japan, and those that are properly trained make for excellent guard dogs. They're also very intelligent. However, they're extremely stubborn and will do anything to dominate the space they're in. This is why they can be extremely dangerous. Firstly, they should always be kept on a leash. Secondly, they should be properly socialized to be obedient and to establish that its owner is in fact the boss, instead of the other way around. This is crucial in preventing this breed to express its dangerous and potentially deadly side. Good luck to those who are willing to try. Thanks for watching. What do you think of these dogs that are illegal in certain countries? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.